Welcome to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to take up another very very interesting and challenging question from algebra. We have to find the values of a if x square minus 3ax plus 6a equal to 0 having positive integer roots. So let's get started by considering two roots of this quadratic equation alpha and beta. Now using beta's method, if we will write here ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, having roots alpha and beta, then we know that sum of roots alpha plus beta is minus b over a and product of roots alpha beta is equal to c over a. So for our quadratic equation, I can write two equations one for sum of roots alpha plus beta it is minus b over a minus coefficient of x over coefficient of x square value will be equal to 3a second equation we can write easily product of roots which will be equal to c over a constant over coefficient of x square value will be 6a now from our first equation alpha plus beta equal to 3a. If I will divide both sides by 3, I can cancel this 3 from RHS. So we can write a will be equal to alpha plus beta over 3, which we are going to plug in in second equation number 2. So I can write alpha beta will be equal to 6 times alpha plus beta over 3. Now 6 over 3 is 2. So we can write alpha beta will be equal to 2 times alpha plus beta. Let us consider a equal to alpha plus beta over 3 equation number 3. Now we will write alpha beta is equal to 2 times alpha plus beta to the left hand side. So we can write alpha beta minus 2 times alpha plus beta equal to 0. Or we can write alpha beta minus 2 alpha minus 2 beta equal to 0. Now I will add 4 to both sides. Let's add first plus 4 plus 4. Now we can take alpha common from these two terms, minus 2 common from these two terms. We will write here alpha is common in the bracket beta minus 2, minus 2 is common in the bracket beta minus 2 equal to 4. Now beta minus 2 is overall common. So we will get factorization in LHS alpha minus 2 times beta minus 2 equal to 4. Now we have to factor 4 so that product must be positive 4 or plus 4. So if I will multiply 4 with 1 we are going to get product 4. If we will multiply 1 with 4, we are going to get product 4. If we will multiply minus 4 with minus 1, our product will be plus 4. If we will multiply minus 1 with minus 4, again we are going to get same product 4. If we will multiply 2 with 2, we are going to get product 4 and if we will multiply minus 2 with minus 2 we are going to get product 4. So we have 6 combinations here. Let me draw our chart. We can write here alpha minus 2 then we will write here beta minus 2. From these two columns we are going to calculate alpha 
which will be equal to alpha minus 2 plus 2. Then we will calculate beta which will be equal to beta minus 2 plus 2 and then we will calculate the value of A. A will be equal to alpha plus beta over 3 as per our equation number 3. Now let me write here the factors 1, 4, 4, 1, minus 1, minus 4, minus 4, minus 1, 2 and 2, minus 2 and minus 2. Now we are going to add 2 to our first column to find out alpha. Alpha minus 2 plus 2. Let's add 1 plus 2 is 3. 4 plus 2 is 6. Minus 1 plus 2 plus 1. Minus 4 plus 2 minus 2. 2 plus 2 4. Minus 2 plus 2 0. Now we are going to calculate beta. We are going to add 2 to beta minus 2 column. Let's add 2 here. 4 plus 2 is 6, 1 plus 2 is 3, minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2, minus 1 plus 2 is 1, 2 plus 2 is 4, minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Now we are going to eliminate these three combo as we are getting negative roots and root equal to 0. We have to calculate positive integers. So on this ground we can cancel these three cases. Now we have to calculate value of A. As per equation 3, alpha plus beta over 3. So we are going to write here 3 plus 6 over 3. 9 over 3 is 3. So first A value is 3. Second day would be 6 plus 3 over 3, which is same value 3. And from our second last case, see, there are 3 cases. So, we will be writing here 4 plus 4 over 3, which is equal to 8 over 3. So, we are having 2 A values. A equal to 3, A equal to 8 over 3. We know roots also. For A equal to 3, we have roots 3 and 6. For A equal to 8 over 3, we have roots, repetitive roots 4. Let me write A equal to 3. And let us find quadratic equation. So we are going to plug in a equal to 3 here. We will get x square minus 3 times 3 times x plus 6 times 3 equal to 0. Or I can write x square minus 9x plus 18 equal to 0. Now we know the roots x minus 3, x minus 6 in the factorization form we can write roots are 3 and 6. If we will plug in a equal to 8 over 3 in the same quadratic equation we are going to get x square minus 8x plus 16 equal to 0. Now this is perfect a square of x minus 4. So we are going to get repetitive roots 4 and 4. We have already seen. So our final answer becomes a equal to 3 and a equal to 8 over 3. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching.
do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye